Hello and welcome back. Um, in the last video, we managed to get about 150 watts electrical power at 12 volts um, out of this uh, rather big Sterling engine. Um, we successfully used a hoverboard motor um, to generate power, which is a quite economical way of doing it. Not the best way, but it's a cheap way of doing it, that's a certain. Um, in this video, um, I'm hoping to apply um, a more consistent uh, load bank, which I will describe in a minute. Um, and also, I'd also like to experiment with crank angles, um, which I'll, I'll tell you about in a minute as well. This is our array of lights. Now what I've got here is a box with lots of these 20 watt, 12 volt halogen bulbs in it. I've got more uh, connected to these switches here. So if I switch that on, light goes on all the way down to the bottom. Like so. I've got a watt meter, so at the moment it is reading 11.88 watts. And notice when I turn lights on, that should jump up to 40 watts because that's two 20 watt bulbs at 12 volts. And then as I add extra banks, the wattage will go up. As you get towards the bottom, the impact of me turning them on is less so. I think it's because of voltage drop and also this cable is a little bit undersized so the cable does start getting hot. So there you go. All right, so with this test, I'm also hoping to play around with the crank angles. Um, traditionally, on the Stirling engine, the phase difference between one crank and the other crank is about 90 degrees out. Um, I think, as I understand, this is uh, generally what it ends up on most engines. Um, but there is some flexibility with this, with this amount, and um, I want to experiment to see what effect that has to, to power output um, and at what, what RPM rates as well. So what I got here is this angle box and when you turn it on it will tell you an angle. You can you can zero this to wherever you want. So if I zero it that's roughly uh, roughly, roughly uh, level. So as you change the angle obviously the angle box will display a different angle. So what I want to do is experiment with different angles of the cranks and, uh, and then see what effect that has on things. I'll try and record this um, and also record the power output from the hoverboard motor as well as we go. Right, let's get this thing outside. This thing is quite heavy. I haven't weighed it yet, but I suspect it must be, it's got to be a quarter of a ton, maybe more. I'll just explain the setup a moment. So this is our hoverboard motor, which is sprung against there. There's a bungee strap and a lever. It's got three phases coming out, which go down to our regular rectifier, which is a wind generator controller, 500 watts. Go through, through our watt meter. So this is DC voltage coming out of here through the watt meter and voltage meter so we know what's uh, what it's given out and this cable goes all the way through the orange cable to our array of lights so we can put a load onto the engine to see what the result is
happened is I've just blown the first set of bulbs on this um, on this thing here. Uh, the problem is, I think, this, uh, this is meant to be connected directly to a battery because this is actually a charge controller for a 12 volt battery. Um, having it direct like this, um, it's not seeing any voltage, so it's, I think it actually is uber voltage um, uh, the lights which has blown them. So I'm just going to stop in a second and uh, put the battery back in line. I think it'll still work because this will take the load out of the battery or the power out of the battery uh, which will in turn put load onto the um, uh, the voltage regulator. So there we go, we've got the battery back in line now. So from our watt meter it feeds straight into the battery and then the uh, array of lights is connected to the battery and we can turn those on uh, independently. Um, the battery isn't charged at the moment, so I'm going to wait uh, wait 10 minutes until the battery is back to its uh, full state. Um, then we can obviously start putting load on it as well. Uh, so the first test, uh, we've got about 105 watts at the moment. Um, we can only light those light bulbs. Um, I can get more wattage, but the problem is then, is I'm risking blowing the light bulbs. Uh, I've already blown two now. Because if I turn one of these arrays off, the speed will go up, but then we're pushing um, pushing 17 volts, which is about to blow. Oh, no, no, I've just, I uh, know, oh, I haven't blown them. I'll turn those back on. There we go. All right, we've just had a slight problem. It appears that one of the linkages is broken in half. Originally, I made this uh, linkage with a piece of box action because it's uh, what I had spare. The reason it's a funny shape is because I had to create clearance for the, um, the piston that came up and down, comes up and down. So that's the end of the test for the day. Until I can sort this one out, I'm gonna have to make something a bit more substantial, I think, or well, not as more substantial, just stronger. It might be even a, a, a bigger diameter feet of tube would be the way to go with that one. Unfortunately, it's put a big dent in me, uh, the top of me piston as well. I'll have to sort that out as well. All right, so I'm gonna, I'll probably have to pull the fire out in a minute because I can't run it like it is. So. Well, that's like disappointing. Um, that's it for the day, I think. I'm gonna have to go away and rework this. Um, I was never really happy with this anyhow because it was only a bit of a, uh, a bodge to get around the clearance problem. So it gives me the opportunity to um, to rework that properly. I'm glad it's failed now, really. Um, I mean, that could have been quite dangerous, really. Imagine if that was falling out there and uh, was, was punching in and out like that. So, um, yeah, so that's it for this time. Uh, a bit disappointing. Um, tune in next time and uh, I'll show how this all repaired and, uh, and we can get back to testing the power output again. <laughs> right, so I've repaired the broken linkage. Um, what we got now is I've got a piece of pipe which I've bent. Um, I've also put a strength in the piece in there, um, same for the other side. Um, that is connected in the same fashion at the bottom with a BSP thread that goes into these um, hanger bearings. So hopefully that will be a bit stronger. And it looks quite, it looks quite nice actually when you turn it over. I think it's because the, um, the radius is of the pipes. It looks quite nice. That should look quite nice when it's running. I'm planning to run the engine in a few few days time. Um, I'm going to be doing an, an endurance run. Um, I'm going to a, a sticker rally, a vintage a, a machinery rally. Um, so, so we'll see how it goes then. So bye bye.